Welcome to Ginger back with another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about a piece of paper which is called the Residency Permit Application Certificate Article 50 TEU and it looks like this. Uh, yeah and it's probably back to front. I mean there is more to it but I can't really show you the back of it. It has a QR code on the back for people to scan to verify that it is real. Um, so you might be thinking well what's this piece of paper about? Well for quite a while, I was wondering what it was. I got given it by Seth here in Portugal. I basically came in, came to Portugal in, uh, I think it was September of 2020, so a little bit before Brexit. Um, now, I did the application for, you know, for, for the residency permit and stuff like that, and I just I waited an extremely long time for any sort of response. And then about a year or so later, on the same day that I went uh, to the vaccine uh, centre uh, and just said, hey, can I have the vaccine, please? Um, I need to travel somewhere. And they were like, yeah, sure. Um, do you have a residency card? I was like, no. I said, do you have a health member? And I was like, well, no. And it was like, okay, here's the vaccine. Now you have a resident. Now you have both. And I was like, huh? So basically something happened with the person in the vaccine centre and I got the health number, the NSS, N S N S number, and this piece of paper on the same day, pretty much, uh, after waiting a year. Now, to cut a long story short, because I don't want to make an extremely long video, um, I didn't know, I thought this was just a, a temporary thing until I got the biometric card, which it is, apparently, according to Seth. You, you wait for an appointment from Seth, they email you an appointment and say, hey, come down, swap this piece of paper, for the biometric card that everyone has, like the citizen card. Um, sorry, the residency permit. Um, and yeah, I'm still waiting for that. But whilst I've had this, I've been thinking about it. I've been trying to research, you know, does it give me the same rights as somebody who is a resident in, in Portugal? Because it says residency permit application certificate. So I was like, hmm, maybe not. But quite recently, um, I've, I've looked more into it. You know, I just thought, okay, I'll go and uh, try and get a credit card. They said, yeah, the application's accepted. And I was like, oh, wow, well, maybe this piece of paper is, is more powerful than I thought. And I thought, okay, let's try and get a job here. And I got a job. So uh, this little piece of paper, if you have it, um, as well as letting you um, go back to England and, and come to Portugal without a visa, um, they they don't even look at it. Um, it allows you to work here, it allows you to get credit uh, here as well, which is amazing because um, the the credit card company uh, is done through a shop through FNAC. I, I basically said to them, look, you know, this is the same as a, as a permit, you know, can you accept it? Um, so I kind of told them they were, they were not really going to accept it at first. They said, look, you need the citizen's card. But I said, no, this piece of paper is the same. Um, I didn't know any different. I just told them that. And then they said, ah, well, okay, according to our head office, you're right. Um, so that was a really, really good guess. And I just thought I'd share that with you. So yeah, keep hold of this little thing. Um, you just keep it on your phone. Um, but you will need it to get the biometric card. But as far as I'm aware, it gives you the same rights and you're covered under Article 50. Uh, pre-Brexit so you're fine to get employment here you can get an official Portuguese work contract like I've got um, yeah so good luck going that NSS SNS number because it was a fight for me to get it um, but the best thing you could do is go to the vaccine center and say hey I've got a British passport I've lived here for a while give me the vaccine please or give me the second dose of the vaccine and they'll they'll type their little things in on their computer and work their magic. There's always a way, but I spent many, many a month going to the health centres just saying, look, can I have a health number, please? I would like to just um, get things going with other stuff. And yeah, it's been interesting. But anyway, the Faru is uh, started in the back. I'm going to go. I'm just going to share that with you because I did, I did a bit of uh, Googling around, you know, what is this certificate? And I couldn't find um, any straightforward answers and here is an answer for you so if you like that comment down below and let me know um 
yeah, tune in for some more videos and thanks for everyone who's commenting on the video so far. Uh, this is The World in Ginger. That is not my name, but it's the channel name. And I'm going to be back with some more videos about Lisbon. I've got a nice little list that I've been find, finding some videos. I've been writing some videos down, should I say, and I'm going to make them very soon. All right, take care.